Okay, um, the part we're going to be working on is 208-6-45. It's this angle bracket right here. This view is obviously missing, so we've got to figure out what that's going to look like. Um, the overall width of it, so from here all the way to that point right there, is 5. The depth of it, so that's across this way and across this way right here, is 2. The height from here up to here is 2.25. And the material thickness, so the base there and this the back piece here is 0.5 thick and the holes have a one inch diameter in them alright so um, once we got that um, if you need to come back to this drawing you can we're going to click AutoCAD click uh, new we'll start with our ACAD.DWT file and I'm gonna go ahead and change this to front go to this part right here alright now there's a couple different ways to do this, but what we're going to do is we know um, that the overall width from here to here, from there to there is 5, um, and we know that the height is 2.25 and the thickness is 0.5. So when we get to this right here, we're just going to go ahead and draw a line that goes out like this, um, 5, we'll go up 0.5. Uh, we ain't even worried about this other. Well, we can go back this way. It doesn't matter what that distance is. Um, we'll fix it in a second. I'm going to click on line, and I'm going to go up 2.25. Go this way, 0.5, and then I'll just come straight down, and I see how that kind of worked out that way. I'm going to go ahead and click on that, click the grip, and take it back to that intersection there. Click that grip and go back to where that grip is. So that should be exactly what we want. So now we'll click on the Home button. I'm going to go ahead um, and press pull that right there and I'll go back the um, depth of that was two alright so now um, we should have a uh, if I click erase and do a window and I'm gonna do it from about right here to right here it should erase what's light gray right there was the original thing that I drew but now we have just a solid now the next thing we can do is we can use a, a, um, a feature called a fillet right um, so fillet will go right here and put a fillet we'll click fillet We'll click on that point right there, and we have to enter the fillet radius, and the radius is going to be um, half of the, the depth of it, so the radius will be 1. So there, and we can go ahead and try to select other points too. So we're going to click those little lines right there, and when you do that, it should put that radius on there, so it's now it's exactly what we want. Alright, since the UCS is setting up this way, we got it in the wrong position, so we'll go ahead and change it to World, so we can come back here and do a circle, and we'll do a circle on that center point of this. Shift right click, center of that, and that diameter was 1. Um, if we press pull that circle inside of there, we can... Wait a minute, we won't even press pull. We'll go ahead and extrude that. Something happened there that was a little weird. We'll extrude that, and I'm going to make my base point there. So I'm going to go thicker than that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change my UCS again. We'll change it to right so that XY plane is there so I can draw a circle. I'm um, looking in the wrong spot. Circle on the center point of this, and that diameter is 1. And then I can extrude that as long as I make it thicker than that piece. I should be good. So now when I do subtract, I'll do it one time. So click subtract and go from the original piece there. I want to get rid of this and this. Right click and enter. So that's it. So um, so it should look like that. So we change this to conceptual. You can see that whole thing there. I'm going to go ahead. That grid's driving me nuts. So I'm going to turn that off. It looks like a nice smooth part. Um, oops. Hmm. Really interesting. So go ahead and click left turn this this way wow not, not fun at all well that's amazing it messes that all up but that's what we want I don't want the perspective um, we'll make it parallel again so that's good you can submit that so you watch me make a couple mistakes. I'll have to figure that all out later. Anyway, we'll go up here and go to Save As. Um, we're going to save this one as 208-6-45. And that is an angle bracket. Alright. We'll save that. Go ahead and 
make the PDF file of it. DWG to PDF, display, extents, center, preview. That looks exactly like we want it. Click plot. And that should fit right underneath of that one there. So that's it. That's what you'll submit in, in, to Blackboard. Raise your hand, have me check it.